Yo, what's up guys? Yeah, Poe Gamer. Today we're back with the round two of the RU Open, which is uh, for Smoke on Grand Slam. If you guys don't know, I'm in Smoke on Grand Slam, where I'm in all these little tournaments, that way I can qualify. Well, they're not little, but I'm in all these tournaments, that way I can try and qualify for the, uh, the big tournament, the top 16. Right now we're just trying to rack up points. So, if you guys do enjoy these tournament games, make sure you let me know by leaving a like, leaving a comment, all that stuff. I appreciate it. We're in round two right now of the RU Open, so if you missed any of my previous tournament games, uh, I usually have them linked in like the clickable thing, but there's also a Grand Slam playlist. And before we just actually get into this, if you're new to the channel, you like competitive Pokemon, whether it be tournament games or showdown lives or even the occasional Wi-Fi battle or just theory mom videos, subscribe. I'm on my way to 300k. That's my end of the year goal, and I upload every single day. So if everybody was subscribed today, if you or you did subscribe today, if you weren't already subscribed, I could hit 300k today. So fighting against the Rosa, um, really strong team on my opponent's part but pretty weak to reuniclus which is nice uh they do have a jellicent which can be very frustrating for me have fun and they do have umbreon as well like i said i think heracross gets a kill whenever it comes out and i think that combine reuniclus goes absolutely crazy here but we have to be very careful about the jellicent now i can get a toxic off on it early and waste some heal bells which i kind of like my steelix blocks that yeah, I like that a lot. I'm going to start with my Lodic. They end up leading over Noivern. Uh, they could trick me here. They could trick me here, but I think Toxic is absolutely fine still. Like Switcheroo, because uh, that just means they can't use it on my Reuniclus. So I would gladly take it. They end up going Jellicent, which is really good for me. We're going to go Reuniclus here on potentially status, whether it be Will-O-Wisp or Toxic of their own. Exactly. And now that they're on a timer, I think this thing just wins. <laughs> I believe Combat Reuniclus is 6 0s I don't see how they stop it. So I'm going to click Life Orb Focus Blast, bring them down to their sturdy. And now we just click Psychic and get a kill. Uh, I'm fairly confident this guy just wins. Like I said, that part part one was getting the Toxic off on Jellicent, which can't taunt me. And then part two was just getting that kill on Steelix. So Norvern comes out. It's obviously going to go for Switcheroo here. Hmm. My Lodic. I'm going to go Crobat and let it get Switcheroot. Yep. Cool. Because now I can defog away these rocks forever. And I'm also a Scarf Crobat. <laughs> which is pretty cool. So we get rid of rocks forever, which is nice. And at this point, we kind of just sit on this Pokemon. Um, I want to keep my Steelix healthy, obviously. I have Inner Focus, which is nice because I can always break Ryuko. I'm assuming they go for uh, Heal Bell here, but Steelix is still fine. Yeah, there's the Heal Bell. Get on my Stealth Rock as Weezing comes in. And I believe I just go right out into Reuniclus. Defog shouldn't matter too much. I just calm mind up in front of their face. And because I am Life Orb, even if they taunt me, that doesn't matter either. Because I can... Well, this is this is coming off... This is a plus one Life Orb hit, exactly. So, they got to switch back and forth to beat this. Like I said, this Mon is an incredible threat versus their team. I immediately noticed that. Provided I land enough as well, I think it just wins. I can actually afford to calm mine up once, I think. I want to make sure I'm knocking out everything in one hit. So we recover here. It doesn't matter if they pass to that. This guy doesn't kill me. I just click Psychic. Again, I'm, I'm already plus one and I have a Life Orb hit on top of it. So this is a death on that Mon, unless they crit me, which they didn't. Again, I knew exactly what I had to do going into this game. Uh, they... This was the only one that could beat me. I toxic it fast because I'm very really fast my Lodic. So even though they're toxic, nobody runs up to two to whatever speed. Uh, you can challenge for game two when ready. So we get a really quick game one, which is nice. I think I'm going to use this team again for game two. It just looks very strong. And I didn't really get to show off much. All right. Why are you passing me 6 0 by your clicks? Because I. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not 6 0 You have options. Uh, you have Taunt, Jellicent. You just can't like, get status. Um, you have Switcheroo, Noivern. I just, you know, I just put myself in a position to be better than it. But yeah, I'll pause it, guys, until... Oh, they challenged me. Nice. Actually, let's try this team, which has DD Regidrago. Looks terrible here, by the way, because they have a DNC. Uh, DNC is absolutely scary for me, but Combine Raikou looks okay. 
have fun. I'll probably use the Reuniclus team again next time just because it looks really strong here. Um, but yeah, so I'm sub Dragon Dance. I need to knock this. They have no wish support, so that guy can't heal itself, which is very important. I'm gonna start off with Rose Raid. Yeah, Guzzlord is annoying. I uh, don't really have a lot for it. I think I just get chip on it as they knock me, which is fair. They're leftovers. Gonna attempt to get up a T spike there. And now we're gonna go Goliathbot and double into my Raikou on Crobat. So they could have heal ball, I guess, on Deancey. They're insane for doing that play. But it worked out. I, I think I, this is just a, a quick loss, to be honest. Oh, I got a Spadette drop, which is amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. I'm, I'm, I think I go for it again. Actually, if I'm them, I always go out into Reggie Drago. I go Golisopod. It deals with both. That's crazy, dude. If I'm Specs and I KO Crobat, they, they have no uh, Golisopod switchings. But it's all right. I do think that Guts Heracross would have wrecked this as well, so I'll load up the exact same team for game two as well. Um, I'll see he's asking for a link. I'll link him game one and then I'll link him game two. They miss, which is really unfortunate for them. Gonna knock off here as Crobat comes out. I'd rather get Brave Bird into my homie. Uh, I can't let them, basically, I can't, I can't bring out my guy, right? I can't bring out Bronzong on a on a U-turn, so I'll take it. And now we'll bring out Zong, which looks really good. Looks very good right now. They go for Toxic there. Get on my Stealth Rock. I think I try and just force things with Noivern. Yep, that's a free Golisopod. They force me out, which is actually really annoying. That crit sucks. I'm going to Draco again always. I don't care if they go DNC, I have a bronze on. I will always Draco. This guy doesn't really have much special attack now, does it? <laughs> I'm looking at it, right? So we turn here. Bring out Zong as I get up South Rock. I believe I just heavy slam now. Maybe into Crobat if they want to go out to it. I would love if they sack this, to be honest, just so I can go with Reggie Drago. It'd be insane if they did, but I would love if they did. Maybe they don't expect the uh, the steel move. This is game two. That crit really sucked. I cannot believe Crobat stayed in because, again, like, look what I'd be able to do with spikes with Stealth Rock versus their squad. But that's my fault for predicting. I feel like this Guzzlord does not beat Runiclus either. I'm not sure what comes out here. I still have Reggie Drago to clean if this guy dies for whatever reason. They're really thinking hard about this play. I think you go Guzzlord, dude. Like always. Metagross comes out. They're starting the Cosmic Power, which is annoying. <laughs> Uh, that just means it's cosmic power body press. I'm gonna skull burn it if I can. That's disgusting. <laughs> Why is this a set? There we go. Let's go for some death drops here too. Oh, it definitely has rest. Cosmic power body press. Shadow Ball always to try and weaken this guy. Me having boots is nice too, because like if they go gashing on strong. I feel like they're just throwing away some Pokemon though. I mean if this is rest, it's rest. Like what can I do? Cosmic power Metagross, man. That's cool. I mean not cool for me, but that's cool in general, you know. 
It sucks I revealed that I have Scald because now they, they're not threatened by Earth Power. Did a lot. Okay, so we go you now. Click first impression and pray as they rest up. Uh, I don't know if it's sleep talk, but this set's scary. It's not sleep talk. Is there any way I could beat this? What's this last move? I mean, I, I flamethrower crit now, right? What's this last move? Oh. Oh, they're praying for a crit. They're begging for a crit. They're saying, please, Joey, crit me. I guess it's stored power. Does it have stored power? Does Mon learn stored power? Nice, I got a crit. Get another one. Get two back to back. I'm just gonna skip turns until I get two crits back to back. Unless it is store power. They crit me, which sucks. There's that body press there. Good game. Okay, so uh, let me just ask in a chat what's the last move on that thing? Yo, what's the last move on that iron defense or er, er, cosmic power metagross with body press? Is it mash? Just asking. So I'm not battling yet. Don't want to bring this team then. All right, I definitely bring this squad again. On the sample it is. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so on the sample team thread, it is MASH. Which is good to know. I beat that with my Lodic, so. It's gonna be a long game type thing, but I do beat it with my Lodic. Watch them load it again. So now they have some type of stall, but it still looks really weak to everything. My hair crosses go crazy. Have fun. Yeah, my Haze Milotic looks crazy here too. Calm Iron Nicholas is still broken. <laughs> Ridiculously broken, I love it. I'm going to start off defensive with Umbreon as I'm a little worried about their licks early. And then we'll go out to Iron Nicholas and try and do my thing immediately. Don't know if they run Roar, but I'll calm mine up. I don't think Quagsire beats this 1v1. Thank you, bro. I don't think Snorlax beats this 1v1 either. I could be wrong, to be honest, but we'll see. Just explode. Just have all six of your Pokemon explode. That'd be great. That would be fantastic. Actually, I think the best play is the Psychic first. Just get some ch- eh, no. I don't- I, I threaten everything with Calm Mind. I beat Quagsire 1v1 with Psychics, so. I think this is a strong Pokemon. Yeah, taking 54 to 64, Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, calm down, dude. Also, I'm fairly confident Ryu beats Snorlax unless it gets extremely lucky. I'm gonna do the exact same player last time. Crobat lives Draco as well. It's just the play. Okay, I'm gonna defog on you. I don't know if this Noivern has taunt or what it really is, but. I didn't see neutralizing gas. I always go re quest here as they get rid of my life orb. Ooh, okay. That's kind of bad. It's a little bad. Um, I still do, yeah, I can still beat Quagsire with Spadev Drop, so that's okay. But losing my life kind of sucks. I feel like I still out damage Snorlax too, though. My god, yeah, that's a 2 KO. <laughs> but I have to hit Focus Blast versus, well, not really Steelix, but Umbreon and Snorlax I do. 
all the psychic ones just see how they react to this with the crazy here in the side I'm going to click a random move I'm thinking is it better versus Noivern? ah whatever I'm coming again yeah I just I just psychic this and fish for spadef drops unless they have encore I'm good I would love to be toxic as well because 49% my god haze is fine Standard, let's see Quagsire. That's max. Combined up again. I don't think they could risk me doing the exact same thing to them. Also, they either Rocky Helmet or Boots, which is nice. I do a lot to this guy, man, with Focus Blast. I'm gonna combine up again. They paralyze me immediately, which sucks. Um because now Quagsire is faster. That sucks, man. Hopefully they go Quag and I just crit it immediately. That really does hurt. But it's not the end of the world. Wait, I feel better, right? Oh, it's definitely not the end of the world. Yeah, hell yeah. I just psychic into Quagsire now. <laughs> okay, dude. Come on, dude. Why is everything full paralyzing me? I mean, that made me stronger, right? But. And I'm faster, which I guess is cool too. Alright, bro. Dude! Stop this! The rest sleep talk. Nice, which means I can get in Steelix here. And get up Stealth Rock, which I want for Quagsire to, to tank. Because basically, I just bring out my homie after and click the side. I always Stealth Rock here. They have to heal. <laughs> or they click Earthquake. Haze, Recover, Tox. They can't touch me. They can't touch Crobat. They cannot touch Crobat. Like, they definitely can't touch Crobat. That's a free Scald for me. Actually, I doubled a hair across here. You'd be insane to stay in this turn. I'm going to heal about those later. Alright, so that's boots, which means it can never trick me. That's a good double. Oh. Gonna heal bell. Nice. Default toxic. I'm okay with getting up rocks again. That's because Reuniclus just smashes now. Yeah, now that I know that Neuburn can't uh, can't switch a Rue, I'm good. Yeah, it not being able to switch a Rue me is real good. And Snorlax is sleeping, which means I actually two it KO it. Provided they don't get extremely lucky versus me. And I want to see Quagsire take Stealth Rock damage because then I, again I beat it 1v1 with Psychic, so. Actually, why would I not click Psychic here? Always, yeah. That's fine, we can't mind up in front of this demon. Quagsire comes out. Wish would happen this turn, so. I'm gonna wish now into Licks. Actually, I always go, uh. I always go Ryu on this. I'll calm mind up again. Yeah, those rocks are really nice for chipping away at Umbreon. Oh, 52%? Hell yeah. So you have to protect here. 
Interesting play. Very interesting considering how much I just did to you. I think I'm wasting too much PP here though versus Quag. That's what I was fishing for. I just realized, yeah, I <laughs> they get this enough drop, so I can't beat it on that. Did it take Stealth Rock when it came in? I didn't realize. Okay, now I get to wish past the Steelix. Which is always free. Foul play will never kill me. Yum. And I'm back! I can jam that heart attack. We're back to Ryu. There's the Willow, which is perfect. Can't be, par uh, can't be paralyzed now, which is real nice. And now I'm going to go hair across and start messing you up, dude. Literally always click CC here. I feel like I don't have to predict. Actually, I can afford to click facade once. Just because no everyone will die, right? There's a guts boosted demon. Yeah. Gonna U-turn. Keep up offensive momentum. Okay, dude. This guy likes to throw Pokemon away, but that's fine. I'm a heavy slam here just in case they want to go wheezing again. Yep, let's see how much we do. Good lord. There's so much damage, bro. Got to recover once. They can't bring out Noivern next time, which is real good. They're gonna. Yeah. I focus blast once and pray it connects. Perfect. Get us Bedef drop two. They actually have to protect here. Exactly. I want a psychic so badly on Quag. I think I'm gonna do it. I feel like it's okay to do it here, right? Because, I mean, you know, I didn't even see a clear, a Quagsire took Stealth Rock. Let me see. Uh, oh, Quagsire did not take Stealth Rock. I go Licks. I probably died if you... Wow. I'm gonna say it again. Why'd this Mon come out? Hookah, quiet, baby. All right, one little recover. I just want to keep Stilix in range of like, look at my Brave Birds. Like they don't like switching into Brave Bird at all if I, if I get that off, so. I'm back, baby. Right back to Heracross we go. There's no way I take anything from foul play, right? I resist the hell out of that. That was a good chunk. Oh, nice. You just gave me some recovery without wish passing to your own. I'll take it. Strange steam. Quiet, Puka. Let me throw. I think they sack Steelix here. Actually, I can facade anyway because they can't kill me with one. Bro, this guy's insane. Wait, I can just facade again. <laughs> I 
Then <laughs> all the plays wrong versus Umbreon too. That's the Rosa, a demon. Well, she's an archangel, but sixteen percent. Quiet, baby. The side is forty-two to fifty percent. We're close. Hey, hey, relax, relax. That confusion is stupid. Relax. Relax, okay? Hey, relax. I'm assuming they want to take my item, but if I if I get all that damage on them there. Yeah, that's a, a fantastic turn for me. It's a free Steelix now. I think Steelix just gets goes crazy now that their Lix is weakened. Interesting. I didn't realize it was that set. Still think I have the slam. Always. Why? <laughs> Dude, you're just throwing away Umbreon now. What the hell? Why'd they do that? All they do is throw away Umbreon. Quagjot doesn't even beat me 1v1, like... I toxic it again, like... Bro, this guy's so lucky, I swear! Holy crap! Holy crap! All right, they're throwing though. I don't care what you do here. Bro. Nice. Doesn't matter if they bring back an Umbreon, I actually think, at this position. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I just scalded everything. Yeah. Strange theme. I'm gonna recover here. You can never go hard on Umbreon, it'll die. What do we even got into on this? You have to go Snorlax, right? Which I can wish past. It's fine if they go Umbreon. I would like to stop that play, but... It's a little hard. I think I just bring back in. Like, the fact that Weezing dies is, is good. Nice. I'm bringing in my Arena Quest to be nice and safe. My dude, stay confusing me. There's Quag. Which is free Scalds. I feel like I beat this 1v1 with body press. Oh, I hella beat this 1v1 now with body press. Let me have you slam first, though, just in case they're crazy and go Noivern. All right, bro. You want to flamethrower burn me again? I'm going to wish pass again. I'm going to outplay this Noivern. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm about to outplay this Noivern. Body press is literally the best play. This guy can't touch me either. Nice. And very soon my Brave Birds are free. And now I get to Brave Bird forever. Cool.
cool, so. Let's get it. Maybe drop an image. Oh, it's CVC 70 to record. It's best of three, bro. <laughs> I linked you two games. <laughs> Let's throw out of here. Let's go. Now I never have to worry about Umbreon wishing. All those mods are status forever. GG's. Let's fucking go, bitch. Sorry. Um, I got a little bit. I'll, I'll, I don't mind being paralyzed because that's what happens in Pokemon and stuff like that. You're not going to uh, luck in other opens. Uh, I, don't, I don't mind being paralyzed with that. No. I'm, I'm honestly, I haven't been sleeping well. I just played another tournament game right before that went to a game three. And then... I really feel like, like in this one, I feel like the matchup was even, right? I feel like they, for some outplay, which they outplayed me very well with Noivern plus Umbreon for most of it. I do think that they kind of threw at the end. Um, the, like my NU Open versus Poet, uh, per, was it Poet? No, 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 it wasn't Poet, it was Zav. They played super well, but I also felt like I didn't have a matchup to really be able to play the game. Like I was just prolonging the inevitable. In these though, I felt like I actually was able to do something and I like that you know I like being able to actually play the game towards a win because while I ended at 6-5 like this could have easily been some sort of Snorlax thing. and they were making the right plays the lax they were attacking which they should have been I do think they kind of threw though when they, they let Umbreon get so low especially in front of Steelix man because Steelix was such a big threat but I do hope you guys all enjoyed if you did make sure you leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one peace